Hi, I'm Camille with 30 Day Singer, and today is all about tongue positioning. Now, the tongue is hugely important for singing, but its movement is a bit more subtle. It's not quite as obvious as the movement of your jaw or your lips. For this reason, it's kind of commonly misunderstood. Now, we're going to talk about two common issues with tongue placement. I'm not going to give you one fixed position in which the tongue should always be, because your tongue has to move both when you speak and when you sing. It's really important both for resonance or the shaping of our tone, and it's important for articulation. So more than anything, we need the tongue to be flexible and free to move. Now I want you to start feeling this tongue movement. We're going to start with an E vowel and you'll feel your tongue is very far forward. Then we're going to shift to an U vowel and you'll feel your tongue come back in your mouth. So try that with me and if you want you can even do this in front of a mirror. Start with E. E. And notice how your tongue just is gradually moving back to make that oo sound. Our first common issue with tongue placement is tongue retraction or keeping the tongue in that back of the mouth position. So if you're starting to get a sound that's kind of overly dark or muffled, then bringing the tongue forward might help you out. Listen to how the tone shifts. When I don't change anything, just bring the tongue forward in the mouth. There are a couple good reasons why people tend to pull their tongue back. So sometimes people are trying to create that dark, kind of more classical sound. And another reason that someone might pull their tongue back is to help control the larynx. The base of your tongue or the root of your tongue can actually start to press down and inhibit your larynx's ability to freely move. So instead of pulling your tongue back to keep your larynx in a more stable position, sing on an uh vowel, uh, or mum, 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 and feel how the larynx stays in a nice, comfy, neutral spot without your tongue having to press down to achieve that. If you find that you're retracting your tongue either in a warm-up or in a song that you're singing, the first thing you can try is getting your tongue outside of your mouth completely and singing your warm-up pattern or your melody with your tongue out of your mouth. So instead of, oh, say, can you see, and your tongue's pulling back and it's not sounding good, oh, say, can you see, I know it's pretty silly, but that can really help to release your tongue, bring it forward, and then once you bring your tongue back, now it knows how to relax. My second fix for tongue retraction, first within the context of your warm-ups, choose a syllable that has an E vowel in it, so you could sing on dee 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 or ki 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 to keep that tongue forward. Within your song work, you might morph from a helpful E vowel to whatever vowel is giving you issues. So let's say you're singing a song and you have the word home and your tongue is pulling really far back for home. You might find a better spot for that O vowel by first singing that pitch on an E. E. Hear how the tone just came forward. E. And then going to home without letting your tongue pull back as much as it did before. Our second issue with tongue placement is an overly high back of the tongue resulting in a nasal, thin, too edgy tone. So if your sound is kind of like this and you're singing, oh say can you see, way, way, way too much nasality this might be your issue. So again, we can train on a helpful syllable like mum, 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 and then go back to the lyrics, oh say, now with a lower tongue position, oh say, can you see? That C is going to be tricky because your tongue is going to want to raise back up. 
So you might go for more s and not as much c. Within your warm up, you might choose syllables with vowels like a, uh, o, oh, and u, because to produce those vowels, the back of your tongue is typically lower in the mouth. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and visit 30daysinger.com for our full singing courses.